the original documentary on Alexander McQueen. The McQueen tapes. He was a sweet boy from the East End. I wasn't very good at school. I was always drawing clothes in science, in biology. He has got nothing, and yet he was determined this is what he was going to do. I bought all my fabrics with my doll money. And what was that East End job used as a needle? People in the industry say, oh, I discovered Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen discovered himself. Nobody could create emotion like McQueen. If you leave without emotion, then I'm not doing my job properly. I don't want you to walk out feeling like you've just had Sunday lunch. I want you to be repulsed or exhilarated. As long as it's an emotion. His garments, they're almost confessional. In my work, everything I do is personal. Even turning Kate Moss into a hologram. I do 14 collections a year, so the pressure's immense. His clothes have all this slashing and sex and romance and the darkness created genius. He made every headline. People were talking. He was breaking outside of fashion and becoming famous. People literally fighting to see the catwalk. He thought the system was against him. He put everything into his fashion design. There was definitely a change in him. Having to become this persona, this Alexander McQueen. They told him it was impossible, and he said, no, it's not, you can do it. And that's what he did. He did the impossible. This is what I was born to do. The fragility of life. We can all be discarded quite easily. You're there, you're gone. <laughs>